Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Mandy and today or this week, however we want to go about that this week, I am going to be going through my routine with my planner as much as I can possibly do that. I'm sure I will forget a couple times to film or won't have the ability to film when I'm doing any, like every single thing with my planner this week, but I figured I'd take you through, um, kind of like as many mornings as I can because this is when I really do like my planner check. Um, I kind of talked about this in previous videos, but I basically get up in the morning. I have my husband um, who leaves for work about seven o'clock and he and I take a walk about 6.30. So there's no staying in bed for me. He's waiting for me and that really holds me accountable and makes me get up to um, take a walk with him because ever since I started staying home with my kids a few years ago, it has been a struggle to get up earlier than my body, you know, wants to get up or earlier than the sunlight and all of that. And so I'm sure it'll change with seasons, but it has been really helpful because doing that gets me up at least an hour ahead of time, not at least, about at least 30 minutes to an hour before I would usually. And now I have been able to fit in so much more. And getting in my planner check is just one of those perks that I've been able to fit into that hour. So part of that has really gotten me on a good routine and today is Monday. So I figured I would kind of take you through the week and show you what I kind of do each um, morning. Now I, ha I do have a morning planner routine out there. It's just one day. And then I figured that would be kind of fun to do kind of like a week in the life or a week in the morning routine of my planner. So first of all, I just have my tab on my monthly here. And this is where I fill in what we had for dinner. I actually had a planner check last night, so I filled in what we had, which was pizza. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna have, so that's always why I wait till the morning um, the next day. But as you can see, I wasn't on a good routine last week. My son had poison ivy, and that was just like consuming me because it was all over his face and stuff. So I was just, <laughs> last year at this time, or last year last week at this time we were in the at the doctor so i i really like it's a blank but if i could remember i would go back and fill some of these in i know i had salmon bowls one night and but it's okay it's not something i want to stress about and from there i just kind of flip to my um my goals page to just kind of make sure that you know if there's anything i had intentions for this month that I put it in or that I'm keeping that in mind basically and fill in some random things I forgot about <laughs> okay and then I've made just some random notes so I just kind of like review my monthly pages and then once I get to my weeklies I go to the current week um, right now I just have like random lists going here this is something I want to kind of declutter in the house since we are on summer so I'll just double check that as well um, just any like little lists I've made since it's Monday I don't really have anything to fill in here so um, I do need to get down and eat breakfast soon I've been up long enough without having a meal and sometimes I will decorate so you're gonna see a little bit of decoration just because it's Monday not every day am I gonna decorate but um, I definitely fill this page in a lot so I'm just going to put a couple little things here and there. This is from the Essential Seasons um, sticker book from Happy Planner. I got this a couple years ago. You guys don't have to tell me if you, I mean, I don't, I don't remember. You know what? I just haven't really been looking at <laughs> the um, stickers with Happy Planner yet. I just haven't really seen that many seasonal sticker books come out that have like wowed me, but you guys will have to tell me if you have any or if you know of any. I really like the seasonal ones, especially when they have like the creamier, warmer tones, especially fall. Fall's my favorite. All right, I was just gonna put a couple things there. Um, I go through these pages so quickly, like the weeks just fly by that I don't really wanna do too many stickers. All right, here's my current week. Take that off so you guys can see it better um as you can see i 
I look through um, what we have going on. So I had set this up um, over the weekend. We just have a game tonight, so um, I don't really have anything to check off since it's Monday morning, but tomorrow morning I will. I've done a couple of these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and check some things off. Um, so what I do, okay, let's check this off. I've done my workout. What I do in the mornings um, is if I haven't made a list for the day, like the night before, I make a, I, I try to make a list before the morning of, and this is what I need to try to do this morning. I'm definitely not gonna get all of this done, especially clean out homeschool. That was something I made, like I should have put it over here. But um, these, this is like my morning to-do list. So if I can get a few things done before we start our day, because I have that hour, um, it seems like I have more, that's the funny part. I think I have, well, I have the hour, the extra hour before I had an hour before my daughter got up. Now I have about an hour and a half to two hours, which is so nice. Just getting up that extra hour has been so nice. But so I'm trying to get, in addition to my workout, get these things done. So I did not get to do these things because when I went to go pay my Target bill, something was up with the Target app. And I hate when that happens because it always freaks me out. It makes me think something's going on. So, um, yeah, that's, but had I been able to do that, I would have probably been able to fold my laundry already and all of that. But I have this out in the morning so I can look over at it if I've already been able to write a list. Now, I'm not going to fill anything in here unless like throughout the day something comes up and I'm like, I got to get that done tomorrow during my, you know, my, my to-do time. So that's what I try to fill out here. Things that I need to do, like I know Wednesday morning I need to share my video, stuff like that. I know I need to schedule my video for this Wednesday, um, that, you know, the one I'm going to share. So that's kind of what I've been using these for, and I really, really love it. I also hope to get to where I can, like, assign each day um, a cleaning task, and then I, as I build my morning habits, I can, you know have time for that. So that's kind of my hope for that. Sometimes you'll see that these are really blank because I just hadn't gotten like here, I hadn't gotten to fill in or, um, to make it like, like normal things. But I try to look back at the other, the other weeks too, to <laughs> like, what do, what do I do regularly on that day? So I, I try to do the regular things and then anything I can do in the morning. I haven't filled out my goal yet. Um, I do need to do that, but I'm not going to, I don't know. I'm not going to do that right now on film. A little too much pressure, but I do have my daily verse and I want to go ahead and copy that down. So I try to do this in cursive and I try to fill out some gratitude and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so in addition, I like to decorate this page as well.
Okay, so that is pretty much it for Monday morning. I will see you guys in just a moment for tomorrow morning. I do want to mention that if you like anything that you see in my videos, you are welcome to check out my uh, shop. It's linked down below. Everything I use may not be in combined in one bundle because I just kind of grab what I need Um you know, each season of my life and create my own planner, you know, spread and Franken planner basically. So many of these though, this one, this one, um, a lot of my monthly pages, those are in my create your own planner bundle, bundle, um, which this page is as well. Uh, monthly stuff like that uh, except I don't put graphics on them because people may not want that but this one a lot of these are in there and then my faith is under farmhouse faith or something like that I think you'll have to check it out um because they're all just somebody had said one time like well why don't you just <laughs> link it all and I'm like it's just it's all over the place when I link it all. I've tried to link as much as I can for you guys, so hopefully that helps, but you might just have to go and, and, and check out the shop, which I'd love for you to do because there are many things in there that would maybe work out even better for you, or you can put something together and create your own thing like I have. But a lot of the things are under create your own planner. And then this one in particular is linked down below as well, and it's called Color Boxes Weekly. I know this isn't colored, but this is the gray box, and then there's other colors if you like color. But um, I like using the gray and coloring it up myself. But that's what this one is, and there's two different layouts. So again, if you're interested in anything, you could always check the links down below. You can always give me a, a message and ask me. I'm happy to help you guys. So I'll see you guys for tomorrow's check-in. Okay, so it is Tuesday and we are going to start off by logging my food for Monday. So I basically have to backtrack and do or log or track anything from the day before if I didn't get to do a planner check the night before. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to log my food. I am going to check off anything that I got done, add anything that I need to do, all my habits, all my movements, like all of that. It's just going to be looked at, checked off if it did get done, and added to the current day if it didn't. And again, I'm trying really hard to keep up with copying down my memory verse for the day. Not only does this help me have a memory verse in my head throughout the day, but I can kind of try to meditate on it when I need to throughout the day as well as work on my cursive because we are working on cursive in homeschool and I find that it is so nice to be... I don't know, to have been using cursive if I'm going to be teaching it. <laughs> so this is a good way for me to do that. And I'm actually having a good time doing it. And now we are at Wednesday and you know the drill. We are going to go through this routine once again for Wednesday, for Thursday, for Friday, and I think I even have Saturday in this video. I try not to make you watch every single little detail, but I did want to share with you guys the majority of what I do because I wanted it to I wanted you guys to really know like how real it is. Obviously, I have sped up the time here and I'm not talking through it with you guys in the moment. I think I kind of actually did when I filmed, so you'll kind of see me pointing at different things because I was talking through it, but then this video was going to be way too long. So I decided to just speed up some of it 
and it make it more of hopefully like a 20 minute video. Um, but I just wanted you guys to see. So feel free to fast forward through this if it's just repetitive or redundant or if for those of you that wanted to see like all the details, I'm hoping that this is helpful for you. Um, so that way when you're doing your planning, you kind of know like, like, yep, we all do it. We all sit there and we all take the time to track our foods or track our routines or write in our to-do lists. And it may sometimes seem like, why am I doing this? But it is so helpful. I want to mention how helpful it is for me every morning to see what my day is going to be like or to have like, I'm just more intentional and productive when I at least have looked over my planner for the day. I'm also able to um, look back and see and like make sure like, hey, I did take my supplements on that day. How am I feeling? Or today I have a headache. Let me see why. And I look at what I ate and just all those little details as I get older and as I go through different things. And I realize that the tracking part is really helpful. It's not just about thinking ahead, but it's also about reflecting on what you have been doing in your day. Um, and I just think it's so important. So I am giving you guys all the details for every single day, speeding it up, but I hope that this video is, um, and will be helpful for you to just kind of see how I go about that. Um, I can't promise that I'm going to be including any music on this. I've been really trying to work hard on figuring out how to do music for my videos, but I do not belong to a subscription for music. Um, I just don't feel like it's super necessary for my videos, but um, you guys will have to let me know if the silence is just like, if it's too quiet and if I really should include music on videos when I have these silent breaks like this. Sometimes I don't really have a plan of what I'm going to talk about in voiceovers. And as you can see now, I'm probably just rambling, but I get this opportunity to just kind of chat with you guys while I do a voiceover. And I'm just curious what your guys' preferences are on whether music is helpful during like the quieter times of this, because if I were to actually be filming and talking during this process, like I said, the video was going to be so incredibly long. So I felt like this was kind of the best way to show you guys how I do a week of planning um, and morning check-ins every day of the week um, and just kind of get on here and instead of explaining everything to you, get your thoughts and opinions on something. So um, that is kind of where I'm at with the whole like music stuff. It would be nice if I had music to videos because then I could just kind of let a section of my video run and you guys could listen to music. But for right now, my options are quiet and or chat with you guys. So I figured I'd do a little bit of chatting here, but I'm going to go ahead and let it run quietly now. But if you guys have any um, preferences, I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd also love to plug in my Instagram account. I'm at Mandy underscore Chavez chapters and we can chat over there too. And I show some of more of like my day to day life there. And I'm trying to give you guys more opportunities to see what I'm doing with my planner in the daytime and also give you guys opportunities to check them out from my shop as well. Um, if you guys have any questions on Franken planning or creating your own planner, I am all open to those. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I do have some people purchase planners and they want to adjust some things and that is totally fine. And I wanted to plug that as well because I feel like um, many people look at a planner and go, oh, that has the days of the week on it and I don't want that. So I'm not going to get it. Well, if there's something that you see that you love, especially checking out the shop because there's so much more in there, um, and there's a minor tweak that need that you know you would like, and it would be such a nice thing addition for your planner. Just send me a message in Etsy or here or Instagram. Most better probably Instagram or Etsy, especially Etsy, just being that that's where I sell my my items, but. And I can totally work with you guys. The only thing is if it's like a time consuming change, like tons of changes or something, then that's obviously a little bit different. But 
Okay, well, we are already at Saturday here. I'm going to let you guys go. I hope that you enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't already too. I'd love to have you here to see more. My next video will either be setting up July. I can't remember if that's coming before this one or not, or um, I'm not sure what the next one is. So you guys let me know what you guys want to see. I'd love to hear from you guys and I'll see you for the next one. Have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye guys.